Mörk råker dans fra det bjergen den har Om vind ble skare om hodet Skier da klar skal solen bli ved grå If you look at Orn, he's just this huge demigod from Freljord, something that isn't really relatable, but we wanted to actually make him relatable. We wanted you to feel feelings for him. He's a standoff character. He's not going to let you know who he is. So we thought about it. Well, he's a blacksmith, and he's going to be forging. Let's have him hum his theme. This would be a great opportunity to get players to experience something and uh, relate to this character on a more personal level. The obvious expectation for Orn's music was to maybe focus on his power fantasy, this blacksmithing fire god who can dominate pretty much everything and forge whatever he wants. But music has a unique way of being able to speak to the things that you can't really see all the time. And I wanted to explore that, something that hinted at something ancient, wise, and maybe even a bit soft. Once I had Orn's hum together and something that I knew had weight behind it that we could create a piece, I thought, what are the lyrics going to be based off of? I was inspired by a short story that Matt Dunn wrote about a little girl trying to find Orn. The only thing that's keeping her going are the food that she has on her back and the song that her grandmother used to sing to her. Through wandering, she sees locations that are in the lyrics and she follows them like a beacon and she finds her way into Orn's Forge. So it started from the hum and I created the lyrics based off of this short story which ended up inspiring our ancient Freljordian folk song. When I first was writing the lyrics and had a general idea of maybe melodically what I wanted to do. We needed a great female vocalist to get in and for me to really get an idea of does this work or not. On Orin, I did the scratch vocals. We were um, doing some research around like, what did Celtic folk singing sound like? What does Scandinavian folk singing sound like? So that when I did the scratch vocals, I would be able to do a good representation of what it might sound like. The instrumental accompaniment that I had created underneath it just wasn't fitting quite as well as I wanted it to. So I ended up scrapping all of that and rewriting almost the entire piece around her vocal performance. And that helped a lot. So the instrumentation for Orn's music I knew that there were certain colors we immediately were going to go to because we've already defined a little bit of what the Freljord sounds like. There was one moment in particular working with Paul, the Hardanger fiddle player. It's a more ancient, old, raw sound of a violin. It's just slightly different and that's specific to Norway. He had certain ways of playing little turns and melismatic things on his fiddle that felt so appropriate for like Irish, Scottish, and Nordic folk music. Uh, if we could do your idea at um, 84 to, I think, 91, taking that up an octave. And it fit so well underneath his fingers and made the piece sound like it actually came from that world. The language for the lyrics came up because uh, we didn't want to create something that would just have meaning for North America. We wanted uh, a language that hid the meaning of the, the song's lyrics themselves so that they wouldn't be just like a, oh, by the way, here are the GPS coordinate routes to find Orn. What we did was translated roughly into 
several languages at the same time. So I think it was Danish, Norwegian, a little bit of German as well, and picked out the words and the sounds that kind of fitted the, uh, the number of syllables in the song, uh, but that also felt like it could be a real language when it was all put together. We needed someone who could authentically sing this ancient Freljordian language that we developed. And Christine, being from Norway, was the perfect choice. Yeah, I like that. If we it could is take softer, the softer, uh, yeah. The yeah. Fleece, a little exactly. Bit. They're two strong ones right next to each other, and it, it feels odd with that eighth note just leading into it. Yeah. We want a little bit more, I wouldn't say tenderness, but um, the heart of uh, the mountain. So this sturdy out, outside figure, but the music kind of hints at something that is um, a little bit softer. That's so good. That was pretty good. <laughs> I had been living with Orn for three or four months at that point. You're kind of just rolling with it. But then when you hear the music, that's when the, the emotion gets attached to you, to Orn. We talked that Orn was this very, very, very deep human character for being, you know, an angry fire god. And the music just connected those two dots for me. <laughs> 